Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lurgan 111, and welcome back to Rogue Legacy 2. Today we've got a boxer who has Super Fart and Blaze Bellow. Not a great talent and spell, honestly. I chose this character because he was charismatic and allowed me to spend a bit of money buying things from the blacksmith and the enchantress at the end of the previous Harrow's run. That said, 17 HP per kill, nice. Yeah, I think with the 17 HP per kill, and even with the uh, lackluster talent and spell, this character shouldn't have too much trouble at the start of the run here in the Citadel. So, I'm going to cut away until some interesting things happen. Fairy chest, lose no health. This should be straightforward enough. Hopefully I didn't jinx it. Ooh, that was close. Let's do that. And then that. Alright, apparently we got all the runes that we can get on this thread out of this zone. Good to know. Alright, this guy's a little bit scary. However, if I just stay above him, everything should be fine. Actually, we deal a lot of damage. Uh, just by setting this guy on fire with this. And just like that, a massive royal knight has been entirely killed by farts. I wonder what this boxer ate. Ooh, cursed commander. Yikes. All of a sudden I took a bunch of damage. Now I see why. So let's be careful of that guy. Ouch. Um, let's exit this room and come back. Oh, hey, finally. A chance to get something. That's a lot of resolve. For that. And if I need more resolve, I'd like to come back to that, so I'm actually going to leave this behind. You know, it kind of pains me to do so. Since I've been walking around the castle for quite a while. With kind of nothing to show for it. Okay, those cursed bolts are super, super dangerous. Do not let them hit you. Do spin kick them or destroy them. But yeah, I haven't found either of the heirlooms yet. I haven't found... There's chicken. Nice. I haven't found any exits to other zones yet. And I've mapped out all this, so... Okay, a war drum. That could be interesting, but it's more interesting if I collect some more relics first. I did finally find a teleporter to a new zone, uh, but we're still missing both of the heirloom rooms in the Citadel, so I'm going to go look for them. All right, I found one of them, and... Ugh. That's good, but A, I can already set guys on fire, and B, it's really heavy, and a war drum benefits from a bunch of light things. So this is going to be one of the very rare times that I roll away from that. We'll take Circlet's not bad. If I get a better spell, this would be really nice. And even if I don't, it's light. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab the Lotus Petal. And then we're going to go back and we're going to take the War Drum, which is right over here as well. And so that'll be another 8% of overall damage. And that stacks on the 8% that my magic damage just increased by the Lotus Petal, so... Uh, hopefully we'll find a new spell that I prefer to the Blaze Bellow, and then things will start getting good. Nod Bone. I've been staying at max health, and I've left a lot of furniture behind, and it only costs 20 resolve, so let's grab that. Now that i found the other heirloom. And I might just go back through the castle through a bunch of the rooms with furniture that I've seen. Oh... Well, I need to do this as well. Uh, how much is this going to cost me? 276? I can get that back with like one chicken leg. It's no problem. Alright, but I am going to route back through and just try to find... Well, I should kill some more guys for some more healing first. I'll figure out what I'm going to do. Alright, a little bit of a risk. But there is a commander over here. I decided to come to Axis Mundi. And so let's go ahead and just see if I can use my Blaze Bellow effectively, since my magic is as powerful as it is, and I can! Nice! My increased mana pool, coupled with my increased damage, worked out very well there. I am at max health, so if I can manage to find a chicken leg, we can get some more max health out of my gnawed bone. So let's hope for that. Hey, there's a chicken leg! How timely. Alright, plus 92, max HP. Very nice. Any others in here by any chance? There are not. Uh, destroy all targets, time limit 10. Um, 
Hmm. Super fart might help. Uh, let's see. Oh, I can do something like this. It's not as good as I was hoping. Yeah, it's just not gonna work. All right. Oh well. I definitely should use my blaze bellow. Oh, hey. 92 more max HP. I should use my blaze bellow in that fairy chest challenge. It just occurred to me. I've been really focused on super fart because it sets guys on fire, uh, which often one shot kills them. And it's also the case that it's not counting as an attack as far as the nightmare is concerned, which means I can kill guys inside the nightmare range over here, which is pretty handy. Um, so it's actually, oh gosh, <laughs> working out pretty well. And then I go and be a dummy and punch a piece of furniture inside the nightmare range. All right, and I'm a boxer, which means I can stand inside the likes of you. No problem. Door will totally kill this guy, and then it didn't kill this guy, so I was completely wrong. Don't listen to anything I say. All right, but yeah, this area is still pretty easy. We'll see if I can get my third piece of chicken to get my nod bone to be finished off, and we'll see what else we can find. Oh boy, uh, it's gonna be a fairy chest, which is nice. And I guess the crack is up here, and Super Fart deals damage, and therefore ought to be able to open up secret walls, and it does. And our reward is a Lifesteal Rune, finally! Ah, oh, it's been taking so long to get those. Okay. I do have kind of enough healing at 17 HP right now that I'm doing pretty well. But with even more uh, healing available, while I'm just kind of out in the field. Oops. Um, yeah, it's just gonna make everything so much easier. Hey, another chicken leg. Okay, the nod bone has been finished off. Just continuing on through Axis Monday. I did leave a scar challenge, ouch, behind that I'd like to come back to when I'm a little bit more powerful, as well as a weapon change because it was offering up the, um, the scythe, which I'm not all that fond of. Boxing gloves are doing fine for me, but I'm using a lot of super fart as well, because setting guys on fire is just so powerful. For example, ta-da! All right, it's also pretty fun. I got to admit that. And really useful with all the nightmares around to be able to kill guys or open trap doors uh, without angering the nightmares. So that is all a nice benefit of this crazy talent. All right, I ended up leaving three different scar challenges back in. Oh, no dashing, oops. <laughs> I should have been reading rather than talking. Three different scar challenges back in Axis Monday that I do plan to return to later once I just get a bit stronger. Because the new scar challenges I have found quite challenging. Um. And so I've moved on to the Gregulian Plateau. Yikes. Um, I didn't even manage to set you on fire. Moved on to the Gregulian Plateau in the hopes of finding another relic or two that'll make me stronger. Or possibly another apple to get a little bit more maximum life. Although our vitality, like, we're in pretty good shape life-wise. Um, there is some type of crack in the wall here. I see it. Took me a moment. So let's carefully move about and get our monies. Yeah, so I think one more relic or one more apple and I'll probably go back and try out those scar challenges. All right, here's the room with the relic. Is it gonna be any good? Another lotus petal. It's super cheap, so it's 4% more damage just as a result of the, no, it's not a unique one. I was gonna say, and if I get a better magic weapon, but no, it's non-unique and so it's not going to stack with the war drum. And so I think that puts it underneath the threshold of relics I'm willing to take at the moment. I do have access to the, um, that thing that gives me more resolve at the cost of increased hazard damage. So I do have that option that I could use in the future. But for now, I'm going to keep looking. Oh, uh, there's spikes there, by the way. 
All right, well, here's something that I want. I don't love Blaze Bellow. Shockwave is not all that amazing, but it's better than Blaze Bellow in my opinion. So let's go ahead and switch to Shockwave. That'll also increase our magic damage. And it gives us a Blessing of Wisdom, which I think also stacks with the War Drum. So we've got some good confluences going on here. Uh, and Shockwave, I believe, can be aimed. Yeah, diagonally. <laughs> And if I'm really great, I can possibly even hit an enemy with it. There we go. All right, so that's how Shockwave goes. It does cost a pretty penny in terms of the mana, though. Glowing Ember, 75% more damage every sixth hit. I get six hits pretty frequently <laughs> as a boxer, and it only costs 20 resolve, and it's going to give me 4% more damage as a result of the War Drum. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to finish out this little edge of this biome. And then, oh, there's a, uh, a guy there. Careful. And then go back to all the Scar challenges that I left behind in Axis Monday, and those will be fun to do on camera. All right, Scar challenge number one. What you got for me? It's one of these. That's not bad. Let's go ahead and get that going. All right, I punch hard enough that this is pretty great. Let's go ahead and try to get you out of the way. I'm not even sure what hit me there. That always bothers me when I don't see a projectile that hit me. What you gonna do? Alright, just kind of taking the time. Great. Nobody is particularly more threatening than anybody else here right now. Oops, I jumped right back into that. That was a shame. Alright, so far this is going great. Uh, you're going to be, okay, more scary. So we'll hit you with all the good stuff. Alright, you're dead. And you can be set on fire and burned to death. Okay, that worked out great. And as a result, boom! What else do I want to look at here? The next whetstone. Weapon skill, crit supply, magic break. It's not awful. Uh, the glowing embers I don't really want. I think I'm going to re-roll and hope for something better. That's a little bit tempting. Um, I have, mm, That's a lot of bit tempting. That's... I'll take double damage, but I'll deal double damage. And it's unique. And I've got a lot of health. It would be compared to this. I'll even be able to pick up another... I'm going to take this. I very rarely take the Serrated Handles Bargain in a normal run. But I think this is like the super duper health run where it actually makes sense. Let's hope I'm not wrong. I came back to the Citadel for some healing, and here is a fairy chest that I think I'll go ahead and give a try. Doesn't look like it should be too bad. I can just hit you with the fart, that's fine. Let's go ahead and back off for just a moment. Get those guys firing into the ground. Great. And then I think I have fewer threats of guys trying to... Oops. Oh, right. This is not take no damage. This is just kill everybody. Okay. Fewer threats of guys trying to hit me from afar over on this side. And then we got like two Plinkies over here or something. Sure. Plinky, whatever. I see the bone headed my way. And I was able to avoid it. Right, but here in the Citadel, Fairy Chest is not going to actually get me... Oh, it is! Gonna get me a rune. So I guess one of them did and one of them didn't. Retaliation rune? Uh, I might wear that. I think they're kind of expensive, but I kind of like them. Uh, Blunderbuss. I don't have a lot of experience with that weapon. I don't know that I think that it's worth it. So I'm gonna skip that. And we just found a room full of furniture. And I do need some healing if I want to attempt some more scars, so... All right, we'll look for chicken legs and get lucky, as it turns out. Um, let's see, would I also be willing to peek into this area? I'm going to have to at some point, so let's do it. Uh, yikes. Um, scary, but doable. At least this room. And it does have some furniture, so there's more chances for me to find. The chicken leg of destiny. Or the Pizza of Destiny. I would also accept the Pizza of Destiny. Let us not think that I'm only about the chicken legs. Nice. 
All right, you can get hit by a door. Glowing embers occasionally gonna kick in. Oh, I see the sight lines of this guy firing at me. And since I'm a boxer, I don't actually take contact damage from, so I was able to move through him. Which is something that always happens. I take silly contact damage. Um, this room, does it have chests at the top? I guess it does. So I guess it's worth racing to the top. Nice. All right, money for me, and I'm almost up to full health. And this room will probably get it for me. Yes, okay. So let me go back to Axis Mundi and do another Scar Challenge. All right, I took a small amount of hazard damage coming over here, but we're going to take the risk. We're going to go into the Scar. We're going to remember that I hit super hard. Uh, this is going to be an Astarte, and some other guys know it's a... Oh, gosh, it's a uh, you. All right, and ouch. Oh, gosh. All right, I set you on fire. That's going to deal a lot of damage, actually. That might be my best bet until the other guys start arriving. Okay. Um... Okay, I can just punch other guys to death pretty easily. Oh gosh, I'm taking so much damage though. Oh no, this is gonna kill me. You know what? Let's not let it kill me. Let's just give up on that scar. It's not a good scar for me. Heal back up and do more with this character. It's an option and I'm gonna take it. Arcane necklace. I don't super need it or want it, but it's another thing to stack on the war drum and it's cheap. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. I'm here in the Kregulian Plateau trying to find easy guys to kill and furniture. Try to get some healing on. Oh! I can uppercut. Right. I have an upward attack and I should use it and not go sailing into the spikes for the second time in a row. Alright, it would be very sad if I died in this room. It should not be all that difficult of a room. But I've been relying on my super fart a whole lot. And it's a good way to attack enemies who are below me. <laughs> but these enemies are very cruelly above me. And so it's not been working out as well. Alright, there we go. Well, I did not... Oh boy. Turn a health profit. Right there. Uh, I do need to move down to the right. What does this room look like in terms of geometry? Okay, I can see the bad guy. And I can see the ledge. Here we go. I'm happy to have the chests, so gimme, gimme, gimme. Body Buffet. So this will cut into my resolve budget, but it'll give me more health drops and I need it right now. It'll also help with my war drum, giving me another 4%. And I can get some resolve back if I need to. Uh, this is a super dangerous room, so I'm not going to attempt killing enemies in that room. You, I think I can hit through the wall. So that's super great. And there's my chicken leg from the body buffet, so that's super great. And now I definitely need to go collect my loot over there without leaving the room. So that involves spin kicking you. And oh gosh, um, go go gadget fists for fart. There we go. All right, I am dealing a ton of damage. Are there spikes below me somewhere here? Probably, uh, but they weren't here. I think there was another enemy. Yes, it's you. And now you're dead. Great. Okay, I think this is a solid but dangerous strategy that I've got going on here. I can spin kick that. And then this room has double commanders. We're not going to do it, but we are going to look through the furniture. Uh, this room... I'm not sure if there's a zombie down here or not. Not in this section, it appears. How about down here? Yes. And I do want to kill you. Alright. I'm up to 530, like half of my current max health. And I'm getting 17 HP per kill. I do see that there is a zombie dude over here. Uh, no, I was not seeing the zombie dude. I think I was seeing that there is a secret over here, perhaps. Oh, you're a scary dude. But we got you. Oh, it's a pizza! <gasps> it's a pizza! Pizza, pizza. <laughs> that is super good. Um, so we're almost back up to max health, and now I might consider grabbing the thing that gives me more resolve so that my max health would be even higher, although it will increase hazard damage. could also just look for a talent swap. I think for now, let's just take another shot through the Stygian. 
and see what kind of good or bad things... Oh boy! Uh, might happen there. Oh gosh. Yeah, enemies are dealing so much damage in here. But food heals her ton. So, kind of evens out. Also, I should use my spell occasionally. It's pretty good. Um, let's super fart. Oh! Oh, right. I can walk through you. I'm a boxer. Alright. Good job, super fart. Uh, one shot the slug. Very nice. You can probably burn to death just with that. And I guess I'll try to clear rooms one by one. We're still not at max mana. Or sorry. Well, max mana or max health. So I definitely want to continue breaking furniture as I see it. And let's go ahead and wear you down. Four straight out kill you. Whatever. Yeah, it turns out that the uh, serrated handles bargain, coupled with a war drum and like eight relics, makes uh, the super fart super powerful. <laughs> Who knew? A cannon! I found now three different weapons that I could choose to swap. I'm going to remember that this is here. Uh, but for now, oh gosh, we're going to move on. Oh, uh, quit taking damage from hazards. I'm glad I didn't except the thing that was going to double hazard damage. Um, or more than double, but I guess it's 150%, which is like two and a half times what you normally take. All right, chicken leg, we're back up to max. Great, good timing. Uh, oh, I take double damage from the apple. <laughs> I did that without thinking, and that was actually quite dangerous. Uh, so be careful. Uh, what you eat. Alright, but increasing max health is good. And I might find a talent swap at some point. I've been enjoying this talent, but I would also enjoy the extra resolve and the uh, maximum hit points that would come with it. Ah, so many choices and trade-offs in this game. It's pretty great. Uh, let's just hit you with a shockwave. That doesn't kill you. Uh, but we can finish you off with the fart. So I'll do that. And then I can just hover in midair above the spikes while I'm punching you. Oh my goodness. Uh, I mean, I can't afford this right now, so I would have to... I would be able to afford this if I took the hazard damage thingy. So I'll have to consider it, but I'd have to get that first and get my max health back up, because otherwise it's just too dangerous. There's another chicken leg, very nice. Oh man, there's so many choices going on in this one. Let's, in order to have the most optionality, let's find the specific room in this zone that offers me another Blessing of Life apple as well as a um, another relic choice. And then I'll have a lot of options kind of on the table at once so that I can consider all of them and how they might work together. I think that makes sense. You're extra large, but you're also... Uh, in a great position for me to uh, just lay down the stink. So that's what I'll do. Ouch, I thought I was jumping on you. Darn it. Thought I made the input to spin kick, but apparently I did not. What you gonna do? Um, we're gonna lay down the stink once again. Uh, you're putting down a damage field. That's not very nice. I'll put down one of my own. Yeah, I can basically kill almost everybody with the spark right now. It's pretty great. Uh, you're extra large, which is scary. However, I see a good pattern. Oops! Ah. <laughs> I did manage to kill him. Oh! Scholar weapon, plus three. Haven't done a blueprint in a while. And he did drop some food, but I took a lot of damage there, so... Gotta be more careful. Uh, you are a commander who's gonna be harder to hit with my fart. So I think I will choose to leave you behind. I think there's a commander over there as well. Yeah, there is. So I'm not super fond of that little zone right at the moment. So let's go for greener pastures until our health gets back up a bit. 
Yeah, and our punches are pretty formidable at this point as well. The war drum, the serrated handles bargain, the glowing ember uh, make me quite the strong puncher. And spin kicker. <laughs> Alright, um, there was an exit to the right. Still looking for the big room with the choices. Still have not found it. But give it time. Chicken leg, nice. Okay. Health is not as scary as it was briefly ago. Let's try... Oh, pizza. Okay, now we're at max health. Which means if I did find the apple room, I'd be able to eat it. So let's do some peeking around. There we go. Just in case there's a Koyasa shell, I should check this room first. There's not. Ivy roots would also be quite nice. So I think I need to... Oh gosh, take 700 damage for 89 more. I'm going to do it. It's super scary. And then if I'm going to get the resolve back later, I could go ahead and take this too. So yeah, I'm going to do this. Take Ivy Roots. And then I'm going to take a teleporter. Okay, I found the tattered rope. Gain 50 resolve, but take 150% increased damage from hazards. So hazards are super scary, but all of a sudden my health, max health goes up to 1638. So now I really need to cash in on some current health <laughs> so that I'll be able to survive, you know, like a hit. Um... And so, where did I leave some furniture? The Sun Tower is still pristine. And so, let's go beat up some of the uh, bits and bobs over here and hope that a chicken leg pops out. There's a chicken leg. That helps. And then I guess I might as well peek. Uh, there is more furniture here. Okay, Ivy Roots. Kicking in for increased damage. Gonna four-shot the blink. And I can also hit you through the wall. That's pretty good. I have a shockwave that I need to not forget about. Because I keep forgetting about it. And you are just the tier two slug. So that's not a problem either. Alright, well I guess we're doing a little bit of Sun Tower for the moment. Um, as good as anywhere. In terms of trying to get health or find some new blueprints or whatnot, Leviathan Chestplate. Not bad, not bad. What's upstairs over here? Okay, do not take hazard damage. There's a lot of hazards in this zone. Hmm. I need to spend most of my time in the interior, because outside there's a lot of smoky dragon's breath. That's going to make things scary, but I do need to move outside in order to climb. And also, what was the uh, chest that I missed over here? Oh gosh, it's, it's not worth it. There's hazards there, and I'm not super great at avoiding said hazards. Oh, and you're gonna... Oh, 647? Oh my gosh. I'm taking so much damage. I have to go somewhere else. Uh, where else can I go? Alright, I came up with a plan. It's a risky plan. One, there's a little bit of furniture at the entrance to Pish and Dry Lake that I haven't harvested yet. So we're gonna grab that and hope for the best. Then two, I get a big heal at a boss door, so I think it's finally time to fight the skeletons. Uh, we're just going to quickly peek in case there's easy furniture. Uh, that did not happen to drop me a chicken leg, nor did that. Okay, let's go fight the Axis Money boss and hope for the best. Alright, don't forget the shockwave. Definitely use the super fart. Take advantage of the food at some point, etc. And I can move through you, and so that is a great asset that I should take advantage of. Alright, already got you partway down, that's great. And I do want to just keep focusing on you to the extent possible. So ideally lay damage only on this guy. Okay, you're doing your dance to get the fireballs. I'm gonna do this to keep getting that. Okay, you're going down again, great. Gonna continue to ignore you. And now I need to start working on the little guys. Ouch. Uh, let's go ahead and grab one of these. Since I'm kinda low. 
Oops. Okay. Go, oh, gosh. Can I? Yes, I can avoid that there. Managed to get a pot shot on a little guy. That was not bad. Could have been better. There we go. Uh, I need to get out of here. Oh, boy. So many things. Let's go ahead and grab... Oh, it's pizza. Nice. Uh, let's grab that. All right. I defeated him. Great. That's going to mean three more little guys, which I don't love. Oh, and a big guy, which I also don't love. Little guys can start burning to death or getting punched to death. Either one's fine with me. Ah, uh, you stomp. That's not good. Let's try to burn and punch the little guys to death. They do give me a little bit of healing each time I kill one, so that's good. I just want to jump through you and I guess deal damage, because I guess you're the only one who's currently in the field. And I really need to use my shockwave at some point. So let's try not to forget that it exists. So I guess let's go ahead and hit you with it. And then do one of those. Oh boy, and dodge! Okay, great. Use that. Dodge, punch, etc. Uh, let's just fire a shockwave and hope that it does something good to somebody. Okay, I uh, can hit two of you. That's good. Uh, let's shockwave because I think that also gets rid of cannonballs. And you are going to burn to death and we'll be down to the last three. I might pull this off. There aren't hazards in this arena. This was the correct thing to consider going after. Oh boy. I need to get another kill if I can. There's one. Great. You were burning, so that'll almost kill you. Uh, let's go ahead and get a shockwave. That'll hit both of you. And burn will hit both of you, and I can finish you off. Yes! Okay. <laughs> and just like that, I defeated another estuary. The Legion is going down. Alright, that was super fun. This is a super scary build. And Nama of the Harvest, Ugh. Enoch Prime. Oh, I forgot I haven't defeated even the uh, mini bosses in Enoch Zone. Um, also, it just occurred to me, I left food here at the entrance to the well, food furniture at the entrance to the Grulian Plateau that I haven't harvested yet. So just in case this heals me up with like a pizza. All right, it did not. Um, that would give me a chance to possibly fight some of the mini-bosses in here. And so I think I'll try to see if I can survive and heal some in the Stygian study. And if that doesn't work out, then we'll go just attack another boss and hope for the best. I think that sounds reasonable. In any case, this hero accomplished more than I was expecting them to do. And it was defeat all enemies, lose no health. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. Uh, it was a fun build to play around with. Uh, I do want that, but let's go ahead and have you be dead first. There we go. Uh, didn't quite get it. Come on. There we go. 82 HP. Every little bit counts. Where else can I go in here? Uh, this room doesn't look too awful. Yikes. Okay. Because I can probably just burn you to death like that. And ditto for you. Um, you probably also. Great. Go, go, Gadget Super Fart. I hear bad guys. Now I see the bad guys. Let's shockwave you. And then, can I? I can. Set you on fire. Uh, these guys I can spin kick off the corners so that I don't take damage from the spikes. Just gotta time it well. There we go. I see that there are some shooty dudes who would like to shoot me. And I won't let them. Instead, I will fart and punch on them. Great! Uh, more furniture could be good. You can get burned to death. Furniture, I wouldn't mind chicken leg right about now. You are a real chest. Very nice. I might find the gong heads over here. Not right here, but maybe somewhere nearby. Oh gosh, uh, why did I do that? It was because my ability was not ready. I tried pressing super fart, expecting to bounce up. And instead, nothing happened. And I did not bounce up. And almost died. 
and it's very sad. Okay, I understand what happened now. Let's hope that the uh, body buffet kicks in and someone drops a chicken leg. That would be very nice. Doesn't seem like it's happening at the moment, but it would be nice. All right, any chicken legs over here? All right, well, here's another room that I think I can stay alive in for a little bit. Oh boy, okay. Came a little bit closer than I wanted to. Hey, it's a chicken leg, okay. That is a very welcome chicken leg. I mean, all chicken legs are pretty welcome most of the time, but that one especially so. All right, so I got all this max HP. Hey, there's another chicken leg. Um, now if I could just fill it up. Uh, okay. Oh, darn it! Ah, I caught the furniture and I knew it was gonna happen too. And I still wasn't able to do anything about it. Hey, chicken leg! Okay, nice. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, jumped a little higher. Chicken leg! Oh. <laughs> I see you, Mimic. Trying to hide from me. Being all looking like a chest. Alright, and I see the painting as well. Doing this, you can just burn your real chest. I'm gonna break 200,000 gold perhaps again on this run. That's pretty exciting. What do we have over here? I still haven't found Murmur's room, so far as I can recall. So maybe we'll find that. It has a bunch of furniture. Oh boy, okay. Saw you that time. And furniture, there we go. Murmur's room. Furniture could contain chicken legs. Chicken legs are known to heal me. And at this point, like, if I can just dodge all the hazards, all the hazards in this room, it does have more furniture, which might heal me more. And I don't know anything else productive I can do with this character, because pretty much... Ah, nice! Pizza! That was super amazing. Uh, pretty much everything else this character could do has kind of been used up. Um, so yeah, let's take a shot at Murmur. Uh, I can super fart in order to get rid of those things below me. Aha. Uh -huh. Take that, black roots that would try to prick me from below. I have destroyed you in my own way. Okay. Let's see if we can take out a mini boss before this character makes his glorious exit in the legacy of these rogues. All right, dodge carefully. I'm gonna use the fart in order to break the thorns below. Uh, do I want the chest? Yes. And these guys actually give me the opportunity to get it, so I'm gonna grab it. Oh, a chicken leg, nice. I don't think I needed it actually, but it's still nice. I'm a fan, what can I say? Fan of the chicken legs. Oh my gosh, I recently met a kitty cat that is owned by one of the neighbors. And the kitty cat's name is Chicken. How cute is that? Because he loves chicken. It's a good name for a kitty. Oh, there was still, oh darn it. There was still a thing there. And now I took thorns or hazard damage, which is super bad for this character. Um, okay. Quit talking about kitty cats. Focus on the game you're playing. But they're kitties, but you're playing a game. But they're kitties. Oh boy, okay, used up my double jump. Everything's fine. I should totally shockwave you. It's a way to deal, oh, it, uh, of course, shockwave. It gets rid of the uh, projectiles. I don't know why that didn't occur to me. It would be probably more valuable as an offensive spell rather than a defensive one, but it just occurred to me that I could do that. You're dead. And I survived that with pretty good health. Okay, one void beast is down. I wonder if I could take out the gong heads just by never taking any damage. It seems vaguely plausible, so I think I should go fight them next. So that's what I'm going to do. Take that, video game. I can teleport directly there. Alright, it will be hard to lay farts on them because that causes me to jump in the air and staying on the ground is kind of the safest spot to fight these guys. Oh boy. Oh boy, right, and I can stay inside you, so I can actually do that if I want. All right, and then I can stay in front of you and deal tons and tons of damage. And I'm just gonna hope to outlast you. Got one. Uh, you're just doing that, that's fine. 
Did it. <laughs> okay, cool. I did things with this crazy character. And you know what? I mean, I guess I've got to try Nama of the Harvest at this point, right? I need a heal. Uh, and it's the only heal I have available because I don't think I even found Enoch's room in the Stygian study. So, let's go try one more Prime Estuary. We deal a lot of damage, and if perhaps, by some miracle, I can avoid damage. My Shockwave can break uh, projectiles, so maybe use that defensively when she has all of her lilies coming at you, maybe. Alright, we'll see what we can do. Alright, she put a bunch of damage field in the arena. I see it. I am aware. I need to dodge that. I need to set you on fire because fire deals a lot of damage over time. Ouch, but you deal a lot of damage over any time. Oh boy. Right, but I can go through you. That's nice. Oh boy. Alright, yeah, avoiding all the damage is going to be super tough. Uh, oh, I was trying to hover in place, but I didn't actually lay punches on her. And you only hover in place when you're actually dealing damage to a target. Okay, so here's where Shockwave could be good, except for it didn't, except for it did, except for it didn't. <laughs> All those things could be true simultaneously, amazingly enough. I'm using this moment to build up some more mana for a future Shockwave attempt. Oh boy, I see that I'm in the Nightmare. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And that was actually good, because it opened up a spot here. Oh boy. Well, that's what happened. We had fun. Oh, and he does like a little fart dash in his death throws. That's great. Boxer went from rank 9 to rank 12. And I got 210,000 gold. And after looking at the next few characters, uh, Pirate's only rank 4. It's my lowest rank character. And this one seems pretty reasonable. This is just IBS, not super fart. Um, and, oh my gosh, I've got so much money to spend. And I did get some relics that I maybe wanted. Definitely want to, like, or relics, runes. Definitely want lifesteal, so that means I need three more uh, rune weight. So I'm going to do that before really thinking about anything else. Purchase that. And then I need more rune weight in order to wear one of the retaliation runes that I already own that I'm currently not wearing. So let's go ahead and just equip that one. And then I think let's just do a bit of core stats. So I'll do two strength, two vitality, three intelligence, and let's get some random weapon crits. That's something that I wouldn't mind having some chances at. And then to finish things off, um, there have been a couple times already where I've wanted a full heal at the boss door, so let's go ahead and upgrade that to a full heal at the boss door. Alright, great! Uh, we have new Scar Challenge things that we'll be able to look at in the Drift House next time um, before we get started trying to level up a pirate. So I'm going to say I hope as always that you guys are having a great day, and I will see you again soon with more Rogue Legacy 2. For now, bye-bye.